everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Today is such a fun video. I'm going to be sharing with you how I repurpose all of my holiday and Shabbat leftovers. So we cook tons on Shabbat because we were always hosting and whenever I do have leftovers, which does happen, I never throw anything away. I always repurpose them in different ways. So today I'll share with you how I repurpose my salmon, how I repurpose my brisket and my ribeye steaks. So come along and I'll share with you what I do in each process. Let's roll up our sleeves and let's get prepping. We usually have some sort of fish left over from Shabbat, either salmon or flounder. And I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make these deliciously, incredibly looking fish tacos. There are a few components to making it. One of them is this incredible mango salsa. So you take your mangoes, you peel them, slice them up and chop them up into tiny cubes like I'm doing right here. Have a bowl ready, place them all inside of it. And you're gonna need to use a purple onion if you have we're just playing on lots of different colors lots of diff different textures in this salsa so the i used about a quarter of a purple onion here and that was enough i diced them really small and placed them in i have a red pepper uh, a red bell pepper that I've diced up pretty small as well as well as some cilantro if you're not a cilantro fan add in parsley season it with salt and black pepper and a nice amount of lemon juice and a good glug of avocado oil or olive oil give that a good mix and that is done Next up is this cabbage slaw, which is very simple. All I did was add salt and pepper, a good amount of lemon juice and oil, and I mixed that really well. I like to break down the, um, the cabbage, so I use my hands, which are the best tools in the kitchen for me. So now that all of the components are ready, our mango salsa, our cabbage slaw is all done. I also prepped a few other ingredients. As you'll see on my cutting board, I have some lemons, some scallions, some avocado and some red chili peppers as well as this pesto sauce you can make it from scratch or buy it from the store the next thing that i did is i took some corn tortillas and i charred them on an open flame flipping side to side until both sides are really nice and charred and crispy they just have a different flavor when you do this part and i tried to arrange them nicely on a platter i then took some pesto sauce the one that i bought in the container that you saw was a bit too thick so i just diluted it with a little bit of avocado oil or olive oil just to thin it out just a bit i smeared that on to the top half of the tortilla and we're just going to be playing around with lots and lots of different textures and colors over here as you'll see the purple cabbage slaw goes on the bottom of that and the fish will go right in the center It's already looking so yummy. I, I Just looking at it, I just wanna dive in through the screen. But over each fish, I add in the gorgeous mango salsa right over the top. And after I do this step, I just add in all of the other additions over the top just to make it look a little bit more prettier. As you can see, I played on all different colors and flavors and textures here and each bite you get so much flavor from the sweetness of the mangoes to the saltiness of the pesto and the spice of the chili pepper. Mm, you're going to love putting this together for your family. If you make it, definitely let me know in the comments down below how you guys enjoyed it. Usually 
on Shabbat, we inadvertently have some sort of meat left over. So today I'll be showing you just that. I have some brisket that I made for Shabbat and I want to repurpose it with using tacos. So I purchased this in the store right now. If these are white corn tortillas, they are five and a half inches uh, big. I could definitely spend the time and make it myself, but who has the time for that? So I'll be taking you along and showing you just how I do this. I basically quickly set up my station. I have a tray here lined with some paper towels. I have some tongs, a skillet here, and I'm gonna be adding in some avocado oil so I can fry up these tortillas and make them into the traditional taco shell. You need like a good inch or so. Let that heat up and we'll start frying. Now that the oil has heated up, I drop the tortilla in literally for like 10 seconds. It starts to float up. It starts to get the bubbles. I flip it over and I make it into the top and shell shape. Keep doing that until it just adheres to that shape. Keep flipping. And this goes really, really quick as you can tell because it's quite thin. See, and now it's staying. Flip it over. Buy some more. Rotate it. And we just made our own taco shells for half the bellies. I actually do these this mostly with the mini ones. If you've ever had like parties and you want to buy those mini tacos, they are so expensive. And it's actually much worth it to do this on your own and save tons of money. The components are now basically done. These are the ones that I have fried up. And whoever doesn't want the hard shell tacos, I have the soft shell well, ones right yeah. here. Okay. I have the pickled onions that I have left over from Shabbat, as well as some guacamole that we have left over as well, which is great. This will all be used up in tonight's dinner. The brisket is out of the oven. It was heated through. I have some sauce on the mm -hmm. bottom, so it'll be really, really good. See that your meat is a little bit dry after reheating just put in some more barbecue sauce this is the one that i will be using wanted to make a quick slaw so I have purple cabbage here squeezing in a little bit of lemon into it a little glug of avocado oil and season it with some salt and black pepper give that a quick mix and that'll be such a nice addition to the tacos so here we go
gonna add in a dollop of guacamole to the inside of each one. Oh my gosh, doesn't this already look so delish? How gorge is this? Just put in a little bit of a garlic mayo over the top. You need it? And it's just perfect. We're back in the kitchen today and I wanted to share with you how I would repurpose some steak meat that we use for Shabbat and I'll take you along and show you a delicious recipe that we can make with it. You could obviously, this is a ribeye, you could do this with whatever types of steaks or even any types of meat that you have left over in the house. All you need are very, very simple ingredients. I have one onion, usually I use a yellow one, but I didn't have that. So I just have a purple onion over here and a few potatoes and you need some tomato sauce and a little bit of oil and the meal comes out delicious. So let's get started. The amazing part about repurposing meats that have already been cooked in advance is that your meal comes together so much quicker because it's already cooked. All you have to do is just combine it with all the other ingredients and wait for it to all melt together and just come together generally. And these bones, I don't throw away, I'm gonna freeze them and you can use these in stews or in soups or even in chalents, things like that. So definitely don't waste anything. You can repurpose them in so many ways because these are already seasoned, they make other dishes that you make with them so flavorful. The meat is fully prepared and as you can see, they're mostly bite-sized pieces. These fat ones we're going to be just rendering out on the pan and it'll be absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna be peeling and cutting up this onion. Onions are also all done, and this is the size that you are looking for. I added in maybe this is like a tablespoon of avocado oil in here. I'm gonna let that heat up and then drop in the, the onions and then the meat. The skillet should be nice and hot, so I'm going to drop in the onions. Now that the onions are brown, I'm adding in the meat. And we don't have to cook it long, but we do want to render out that fat. I then seasoned the meat with some basic spices, some garlic powder, some cumin, coriander, salt, and black pepper. I then add in some water, just enough to cover the meat. I add some bay leaves and about a cup of tomato sauce over the top. I give everything a good mix and I'm going to be covering it with the lid and let it cook for a nice amount of time. <laughs> the 
kids are having loads of fun. So while the meat is like stewing, I'm going to be chopping up the potatoes and I chop them up quite thick. And these are very large potatoes. So I went with four, because I think it'll be enough. If not, I'll add another one. So this is basically the size. And I place them into some cold water so that they don't oxidize. see I did end up in the end using a fifth potato just because I like to have a little bit of leftovers for the kids to have to eat for lunch for school lunches um, I think this was still when we had school lunches now all the kids are home so I'm using a fifth one and chopping it up as well been cooking for a while and it's looking gorgeous so I'm going to be adding in the potatoes now and as you can see this is basically a stew that's what we're making and we didn't have to use any new meat because we had a bunch left over so I'm going to be mixing all of that up and of course the longer you cook your stews the more delicious it is you could have also added wine like you would do like a beef um, bourguignon but I'm not doing anything fancy just feeding my little family that's it, mix a bowl in the sauce cover it up with the lid and let it cook I'm going to let it cook for an hour because I have the time and it's going to be amazing This is the delicious final product. The meat gets so soft and the tomato sauce just infuses into, into the potatoes and into the meat and it's just finger licking delicious. So I hope you guys make it. Thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. I had so much fun sharing with you what we eat for our dinners as I repurpose our Shabbat and holiday leftovers. Hope this video was helpful to you. I would love to make this into a series. If you guys are interested, if you want to see more repurposing videos, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more. If you are enjoying this video, uh, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thank you again for watching. Happy prepping from my family to yours.